School Access Control Intercom Kit. Don't forget to always isolate your connections with electrical tape or wire nuts. First, cut off the end of the power supply wire. On the transformer, identify the positive and negative wires. Note the positive side has white dashes along the wire and the negative is a solid black. Identify the positive, red, and negative black leads of the white comlet transformer for the intercom base. Connect the positive of the white comlet transformer, the red wire, to the positive of the intercom base. Connect the negative from the white comlet transformer, which is the black wire, to the negative of the intercom base. Connect the wire from terminal 3 of the doorbell unit to the terminal labeled DR1 on the intercom base. Connect the wire from the terminal 4 of the doorbell unit to the other terminal labeled DR1 on the intercom base. Connect the wire from the negative of the comlet relay to terminal 1 on the doorbell. Now connect the wire from the positive of the comlet relay to the positive lead of the power supply transformer. Connect the wire from the common of the comlet relay to the negative of the power supply transformer.
Now connect the wire from the normally closed of the comlet relay and have it ready for the next step. Connect the wire from terminal 2 of the doorbell to the negative of the power supply. Now on your push to exit button, identify the common and the normally closed. Now connect the wire from the normally closed from the comlet relay to the common of the push to exit button. Connect the wire to the normally closed of the push to exit button and have it ready for the next step. Now connect the normally closed from the motion sensor which is the blue wire to the normally closed from the push to exit button. Connect the positive from the motion sensor or red wire to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative from the motion sensor, which is the black wire, to the negative of the power supply. Now you should have the common or yellow wire of the motion sensor free for the next step. Go ahead and connect the cable harness to the motion sensor. On the key switch, identify your normally closed connector, which is your red wire, and your common connector, which is your blue wire. Connect the common from the motion sensor, which is your yellow wire, to the normally closed red wire on the key switch. Now you should have the common or blue wire on the key switch free for the next step. Connect the piece of wire to the negative terminal of the magnetic lock. Connect the piece of wire to the positive terminal on the magnetic lock.
Connect the blue wire from the common terminal of the key switch to the negative wire coming from the magnetic lock. Now connect the wire coming from the positive terminal on the magnetic lock to the positive wire of the power supply. Now you should have a fully operational kit. Plug in the power supplies and test your circuit. Thanks for watching and until the next time.